Hello everyone, so picking off where the last were, if you recall, the diamond was ready, and you can see it's still going. So I'm going to put that over there, and also, if you may or may not have remembered, I got a prismatic shard while I was mining. And so I'm going to utilize that in a little bit, and if you don't know what I'm going to be doing, you'll find out. And apparently it's going to be raining tomorrow. And the spirits feel neutral today, but that's all f that's fine because it is a festival day. And so I have eggplants ready and various other crops ready. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to collect said crops. I am only going to water, I guess, uh, these cranberries here because if I'm lucky, they will be ready tomorrow. I don't think- th well, I know the eggplants are going to be ready and I don't think these ones are going to be ready in time and if they would be otherwise, oh uh, well. And I'm not going to bother with these grapes. Uh, these ones. This one and this one and maybe that one should be ready uh, tomorrow, hopefully. We'll find out. I'm going to hang on to the regular quality grapes this time, so I'm going to go and run and put those in here right away. Okay, so the only way to clear this is with the hammer and... Oops. So I have that done. I'll make sure there aren't any others. Hello, kitty cat. Uh, that, that, that doesn't look like it, so I'm going to quickly take care of the animals and then I'm going to check the coop to see if there's- well, not the coop, the greenhouse to see if there's anything. And it doesn't look like anything is ready yet, so that's okay. So my task of what I'm going to do with the prismatic shard, I will do right after I sell all this stuff. I don't have to worry about the- a festival until later. Off we go. And perfect, Pam is here. Just who I wanted to see. Says someone who only wants to go to the Calico Desert. <laughs> okay. okay, so yes, Calico Desert is where we're headed and you will see why in just a moment. Earlier, when we were here before, you may have seen this little thing. Well, this seems like it's something. There are towers. Well, what happens when we go like this? <laughs> the prismatic shard changes shape before your very eyes. This power is tremendous. You found the galaxy sword. So, let's compare things for a moment here. Galaxy sword, a level 26 sword. It's unlike anything you've ever seen. It's got 60 to 80 damage, plus 4 speed. Now let's see what we were just using. 30 to 45 damage, minus 1 speed, plus 10 crit power. So, since we're here, we'll go visit the skeleton thingy mine, skull cave, cavern. There we go, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> uh, my English is fantastic. I still need to upgrade my pickaxe though, so this is going to be not as fast as it could be, but as an example, that ghost should die fairly quickly. Like I said. And you can see the skeleton is like that, and eventually it will also reform. And we see another uh, diamond here. And of course you can't run across them apparently. And you can see they've already reformed. And they also hurt. And hopefully I can find a ladder. And as you can see my health is pretty low. So I'm going to use this quickly, just in case something happens. Because in the Skull Cavern, you don't want to risk stuff like that. I'll kill this one again. And you saw that was very quick that time. 
Come on, ladder. Ladder, ladder, ladder. Okay, and that is my sign to say get out of here because those are coming. And if you remember the flying monsters that usually come. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so now that's why I wanted the prismatic shard because I got this weapon and that means I can definitely work on Skull Cavern significantly more easily. Now that said, uh, I will have difficulty with my health still. So as you can see, we have some smaller selection of things and somewhat different things. So this time we have a seasonal plant, which I think we had before, but we have quality retaining soil. So with the, uh, whatever this building's called, uh, Sally's something or other, we, oh, the, we'll call it the Oasis. Uh, it sells different things on different days, but for the most part, the seeds and I guess that seasonal plant are always there. And surprisingly, we don't see any forgeables, but I guess we were here just not too long ago, so yeah. But anyway, uh, <laughs> that's why I wanted to go here. And since we have time, I'm going to head to Clint to get that Omni Geode processed because I might as well do that since I, which I just realized I can't actually do because yeah, today's festival is being set up. Come back later. That's why. <laughs> so that's going there and this is getting sold. That's kept and that's kept. So obviously we don't need that anymore. So I was expecting to actually get through the mines a bit deeper, which is why I deposited everything in whichever chest it was, which I'll find out shortly. But Obviously that didn't happen. It's funny how I just put these in here and I just noticed that we have another one that's decayed. How nice of it. And apparently that's ready. So I guess I'm going to just uh, chop down some trees, clear up some more of the farm. Uh, I don't want to sell that. What am I doing? Okay, I've lost it. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> okay, chopping some trees down and that should give us enough of the wood that we need for the barn upgrade. We still need a uh, hundred ish, well less than a hundred stone. So I could also go to the mines to get stone, but there's a lot of stone around the farm. So the next tool that I'm going to upgrade is probably going to be my pickaxe because that'll make uh, going to the skull cavern a lot easier because right now my pickaxe is very pathetic. And I almost forgot to check in here. I knew there was somewhere else I hadn't checked. Just some various fruit, but we also got a ton of wood now. We have uh, 718 and as you can see more of this has decayed so I'm going to grab the and obviously we got the fairy rose there uh, honey that is and as you can see the spirit eaves has begun in the square so I'm just going to quickly fix this over here and then I'll head over there and as per usual we see that the town has changed we'll talk to Marnie first hi celebrian have you had a productive fall but Aunt Marnie, I want to go in the maze. I'm not scared. It's starting to get quite cold. Crops won't hold out for much longer. I guess I should have tried talking to Marnie a second time first. <laughs> Eek! I'm too scared, says... Uh, who are you? Haley, I think. And of course, Piers is selling stuff. So we have a rare crow, which I will be getting. We have a gravestone. Uh... I'm actually going to get a couple of them. And we have this jack-o'-lantern recipe, which I'm also going to get. And we have a jack-o'-lantern, a whimsical fall decoration. And I'm not going to get that because I can craft them now. Don't get too close to the skeletons, I think he said. I... And if you're wondering why there's a text bubble over them, they say hi. I have no idea how these skeletons are walking. Creepy says Sebastian. 
Why is there no more pumpkin ale? Because you drank it all, silly. Do you like the jack-o'-lanterns? I carved them myself. Super. Hmm, hi. Sorry, mouthful of blackberries. Okay. I got scared very easily. I'll leave the haunted maze to the younger people. Vincent's upset that I won't let him get into, uh, go into the haunted maze, but he's just a little boy. Mayor Lewis. Good evening, Slytherin. Have you ventured into the haunted maze yet? It's quite spooky. Mother won't let me go in the maze. Sob. You'll live, kid. That strange man who lives in the tower set it all up himself. He wouldn't let anyone near while I was working on it. Or while he was working on it. I was like, while you were working on it? I'll come to any event with free grub. He won't see me in the haunted maze, though. It's a lot of fun to cook with pumpkins. Such an interesting fruit. Why, hello, Slubreen. It's chilly, isn't it? Uh, sure. I haven't seen Maru in hours. I hope she's alright. Well, winter's almost here. It's a great time to stockpile on uh, stockpile wood and stone. Not sure why you need stone in the winter, but okay. One of my iridium-infused mazes would make quick work of these things. Um, okay. And there's uh, hedges along the way, so we can't go anywhere except for up here. And what do we see? We see a maze. We found Maru. She's like right by the entrance. He hasn't seen her in hours? Okay. I think I've already been this way. No, wait. I'm lost. Yep. Hi, Harvey. Oh, you found me. Uh, the truth is I got too scared, so I came here to hide. Don't tell anyone. I don't have confidence in you at all, doctor. And we see some creepy hands, which I'll just avoid. Not that I have to, but I will anyway. We see Abigail over there. Alex is here. And hello, uh, Penny. The vapor from this cauldron, it's making my head spin. But, it, uh, but I can't seem to leave. Okay. We have a weird uh, house with feet. Uh, Hell's Moving Castle? No? Okay. We have a television that's going all weird and having a green blob pop into the screen. Hello, Alex. There's something weird over there, but how do I get to it? There's got to be a secret passage somewhere around here. Yep, there is, but I'm not telling you where it is. And we see a chest barely visible over there with some red eyes. And we see Sam over there. Another pumpkins. Hello, Abigail. I can't go on. Spiders. Okay. Uh, I don't know if these are real or fake, but spiders. And we go over here and talk to Sam. That's odd. It's just a dead, a dead end up ahead. I could have sworn there was someone ahead of me when I went through the maze, though. Where'd they go? I'm mentioning people up ahead, we see the wizard and Lewis. So, uh, not Lewis. Um, yep, Linus. There we go. <laughs> I had to cheat. Oh yes. So we have a question mark. Shimmy, shimmy. Look at that. We found a way to go, and we follow along and follow along, and walk into a path that we can't ever see, and we get stuck. Bring it down. Look at that. Right here. And what's in the chest? A golden pumpkin. We received golden pumpkin. So if you look in the inventory, golden pumpkin. It's valuable, but has no other purpose. So I think recently there was a change so that you could actually gift this and the NPCs would like it. Originally, you could gift it and they wouldn't like it. And... Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Oh. Uh... Ah, I hadn't gone up high enough. <laughs> uh, but now the NPCs do like it, much like the Prismatic Shard, which you could also gift to them. The only person who's a weirdo who doesn't like it is Haley. Um, but otherwise, uh, you could sell the Golden Pumpkin, and I'm probably just going to sell it. So, other than that, there's nothing much else to this uh, event, and it's not one where you talk to Lewis where it ends the event, you basically just leave the event. So we're gonna do that. Because we're done. 
We have the Spirit's Eve. Once you do, the festival will end. Okay. And so we're back home here, and it is now after midnight. Bye-bye, Golden Pumpkin. I think you could also have it for display, but I could be mistaken. Uh, right, I don't want that in there. Want that in here. And I'm gonna place this stuff. Uh, I guess I'll just place this one here with the other one that's not in its proper place yet. And these will be going all the way over here. Uh, if I could get over here. And I'm not really worried about the time penalty that I'll get. Uh, okay, so they're just gonna go right uh, here for now. I'll be moving somewhere over here closer soon, and you'll see why eventually. <laughs> But now I'm going to head to bed. So we made 10,000 gold. So that answered the question about the pumpkin. It is actually worth 2,500 gold, which is a pretty good price. And the rest of the breakdown of what I sold is essentially farming stuff. Some foraging, the diamond times two for 1500 gold. So that's 750 gold each. So now I have like 50 something thousand gold. <laughs> and we are on the last day of fall and it is raining. So I think I got everything that I needed for raining wise. I, oops, not mentioning that. I did want to place this over here. Uh, right, I can't stand there. There we go. Whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna collect these. Hello, kitty cat. So, the task for today, and awesome, these cranberries are ready one last time, so I want to remember to keep the normal qualities, unless, of course, they are... Uh, there's a lot of them. I'll just end up selling them. And come to think of it, I might as well just sell them. <laughs> so I'm gonna collect the fairy rose, because that won't produce another fairy rose honey and thyme, and these grapes are in fact ready. And I'll sell about half of those. I'll be selling the fairy rose. So the plan for today is to just go to the mines and mine a whole bunch to get more of the iron ore that I need, and I apparently need to change more fence. And I will also close the doors for the animals uh, these because the animals won't be coming out once it's, oops, winter time. And so I don't forget, I'm gonna get that and we got some mixed seeds, which is nice. We actually got two of them. Uh, so I'll take care of the, oh, I guess you decided to break as soon as I used that. So closing that. Hello, animals. And so they stay in here and we'll see the heater running soon. And I didn't mean to do that. I have 119 hay there. I have to remember to go around to make sure I collect all the grass that is out, but I think I have uh, pretty much all of it already. Hello, cows. So off I go to the mines once I deposit this stuff in the corresponding places. But I should actually check the town first to see if there's anything interesting. I don't think it's anybody's birthday, but it could be wrong. And it doesn't look like it. And nothing posted. And unlike any other season, I don't actually have to worry about there being seeds to get, etc. Because... Oh, we only have a cutscene. <laughs> uh, I'll finish my sentence first. Is because there isn't any planting at least not regularly, in winter months. Anyway, Alex says, ah. Oh, hi, Slobrian. Look at all these books. I haven't read a single one. Just the thought of cracking one open makes me nervous. But you can't make a decent living in the world without a brain. I'm worthless. That's crazy. You're a genius. Or, we all have our strengths and weaknesses. 
Worthless. Yeah, that about sums it up. And we'll go with the, we all have our strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I'm not going to give up. If I work hard, I can do anything. Uh, sure. Hey, maybe one day soon we'll have dinner and discuss philosophy. Isn't that what you smart people talk about? Yeah, we talk about philosophy. And apparently we have a second cutscene. <laughs> oh wait, no. Wait, yeah, this is another cutscene. That's why there's a skip in the bottom right. Ay ay ay. Oh hey, I was doing my daily training something. Sorry, I have no shirt on. You think? Uh, Slavrin, I've been meaning to talk to you about something. That you're crazy? No? Okay. I've started to realize that, well, that I've been really rude towards you in the past. You know, about going pro and all that. I guess I might not actually be cut out for professional sports. Maybe it was just a childish dream, you know? Anyway, I want to apologize to you for bragging and being annoying about it. I appreciate that you stayed friends with me through all that. You're welcome. Smiley face. I was like, do we have another cutscene? No? Well, we'll, we'll enter in Kate. Nope. Kate. Nothing. Okay. I have... Uh... There you go. This is cool. Thanks. And so now we're actually up to seven hearts there. Uh, I don't think Granny is going to like that, but we'll at least talk to her. When I woke up, I heard dripping from somewhere. I think the roof might, le might be leaking. In the old days, George would have scampered right up and fixed it. Sigh. Oof, this is not good weather for sports. Oh well. Can always lift weights inside. Uh-huh. Hello, George. Aren't you cold? They don't make sweaters like they used to. Sigh. Well, I don't even have a sweater on, so there's that. <laughs> What's in here? Pam and Penny's place. It's actually not clean at all, like it usually isn't. Okay, so taking the long way and heading to the mines before I get distracted by anything else. <laughs> okay, heading down to floor 40, because that should give me some good... Uh... Oh, yeah, you'll also see me basically one-shotting everything as well. And unlike in the uh, Skull Cavern, I definitely don't have to worry about bats. Because, yeah. Bats? What bats? Get back here. I could also go down the ladder, which I will. I do need to work on my combat, but I'm gonna have to wait around for everything. And we have the ladder already. It was already ready there for me. How nice of it. I have enough stone and wood to get that barn upgrade going, so I'm actually going to go and do that so I can get that started right away. And I also just realized that the cart is available, so I have to remember to go and do that. I'm actually going to go into that right now. After I get the burn upgrade. Yep. And just for curiosity, I can increase the size of your house and add a nursery. It will cost 50,000 gold and you'll also need to provide me with 150 pieces of hardwood. Are you interested? And nope, but we do have the money for it. We don't have the wood currently uh, with us, however. So... Yes, I went the long way that time. So we can actually get the deluxe coop going as well, but that needs 500 wood and 200 stone, which I don't have enough for, but the priority is the big barn. And then we'll work on the coop. Okay, I'll start working on your barn for uh, upgrade first thing tomorrow morning. Awesome. Okay, so now I am going to go to the cart and see if there's anything interesting there. And let's see, we have chanterelle, wood fence, crab cakes. This is nice, but I'm not going to buy it. 
Tulip Clam, Coleslaw, Tulip Black Harbor, Speed Grow, Basic Fertilizer. Uh, I think that's actually pretty cheap, so I'm gonna actually buy that one. And I'm not worried about that because I can make that myself. And with that, back to the mines. So since I'm heading back to the mines, I decided I would take all of these things to the Adventurers Guild and sell them. Hello, Linus. Here, have a... whatever this is. This is a great gift, thank you. Uh, right, this tool. This tool. And we get stone. How much stone do we have anyway? 54. <laughs> we definitely need to collect more of that. It's also been a while since we've been here, so let's see if we have anything here. That's interesting. But first things first is selling this stuff, so... Unfortunately, we can't sell all of it, but we can sell a good chunk of it. There we go. So, I guess we can't sell the slingshots, but that's okay. Even though they're useless and stuff. But let's check this thing. We haven't checked it for a while. So, we need a lot of slimes to be killed, we need a lot of void spirits to be killed, we need a lot of bats to be killed, we need a lot of, uh, well, a lot of skeletons to be killed, cave insects, duckies, dust sprites, and so we have nothing to kill yet. <laughs> so, now with that done, going to go back to getting some more of the iron ore. The nice thing about needing iron ore is that I also get to kill a whole bunch of these dust sprites. Which means coal and also towards that thing that I just showed you. Hi, Callie. Meow. Meow. Okay, so it's starting to get on the later side, so I'm gonna head back to the farm. I didn't get a whole lot of iron ore, so I might try to find one more floor. And apparently this floor is infested, so I guess I'm gonna go and clear this floor since I need the combat experience anyways. I decided to go down one more floor. I'm leaving now. Because it's getting definitely late. But with the mines, makes so or mine carts make super easy to get back. And I'll worry about sorting those in the morning. And our combat leveled up. Awesome. New craft recipe, slime egg press. New crafting recipe, oil of garlic. So last day of all, we made about 8,400 gold. Most of that in our farming. And most of that the cranberries. And otherwise, various uh, other stuff. So now we're in the end of day one of winter. Woo. Weather report. Welcome to blah blah blah. It's gonna be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Fortune teller. Uh, spirits feel neutral. Living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Winter, a time when all the world goes quiet. Now's a great time to do some mining, fishing, and gathering. Upgrade your tools in preparation for a productive spring, or get your local carpenter to build something on your farm. Stock up stock up on resources, upgrade, and prepare for the next year. So usually in the winter time, I go mining, and mining, and mining, and mining. And some more mining. But I can also do, and as you can see, the landscape has changed. A lot. It was kind of pointless for me to reorganize that, but... Uh, as you can see... We have stuff that I need to repair again. And in here, we have just a blackberry. But I will be going around foraging for this first day uh, because we need stuff like this because I think that's actually, uh, we need a snow yam and a crocus. So we do need that one. But if you find the worms in the winter time, you definitely want to dig them up. I'm gonna leave that one for now. But do you get either yams or various other things? Sometimes you get mixed seeds. I think there's some legendary items as well. And you see they're all over the place. Winter time, there's a lot of them. 
And then obviously we also can do fishing to level up our fishing because if you look at our skills here, we still only have a level 7 fishing and we need to work on these skills which are actually a lot higher than I expected them to be, especially my combat. So we'll be working on that during the winter month and everything is snowy and cold and wintry and just to see the calendar, we'll see what's coming up. So we have Linus's birthday in three days. We have Caroline's at the end of the week. We have a festival of ice, Sebastian's birthday, Harvey's birthday, this night market, the wizard's birthday, Evelyn's birthday, so that's granny, Leah's birthday, feast of the winter star, and Clint's birthday. Lots of stuff, lots of birthdays. I will probably forget them all. Haha. <laughs> Ahem. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching!